amazing such thing as a foot for us. Yes, and this is about me and nobody works for the play. The way I receive my faith, the way I have faith is a good fight. It's not just a, you know, hey, you don't get paid to repeat it, just like it is. You know, if you can just keep going to tell you about it, you don't know how you say that people go around the life saying, I don't know, you think you're going to get your life and try to go to do it. You know, never having any income, never having to win battles, never overcoming. And that's just not true. And we, we give people the wrong impression. And we teach them that. And we tell them that. Um, and so when, when a, a cop comes, or when they have to fight the big fight of faith, they have been put, you know, trying to believe that I don't put for any, any effort. Um, they end up shipping. Because they, they've been, they've been just shipping for a while. Now, we have to be thankful for the things that we face for our calling, thank you for the word, thank you for the things that God has blessed us to. If you have that faith, you can want to speak from God. So, this is the first time we talk to 16, which is 1 through 13. Now, we're going to need a lot of scripture. Uh, sometimes the best time to set back the subject is the best. Uh, and the last time we're saying, how long have I been going to Saul? We have rejected him from reigning over Israel. In the kingdom, um, right after Saul um, has disobeyed God, remember that? The king, the king, the king, the people, the animals, the nothing God. He said, Stop trying to tell me what happened. The king said over here, the animals were over there, and the animals were over there. And Stop trying to tell me what happened. I'm going to take the animals over there. And they're saying, I said, Well, what's this bleeding out there? And I said, It's a sheep. He said, Well, I don't know. I don't know if you can see the sheep out for themselves. Why don't you keep that? I'm going to sacrifice to the Lord. Now, that's not, that wasn't 
to the law and say, what's that like? And you can get rid of them. And you can get rid of And God helps you to do the sacrifice. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to be a man in front of you. And so you know the Lord took the Lord's faith and came to Bethlehem. And the other one from this, I love you. I was kind of looking at this in the bag. Wow. You're not going to be Over his father's sheep. Even with a, a moment of disdain from the family, 
to make sure that when the pastor is going to give that, he didn't get tired. I mean, he's going to make sure that you have a pastor work. He's going to get you out of pastor work. He's got to start with the key. And then, as soon as he shows up, he'll give it to you. Why? Because God looks so much. And what was that key in David's life that made him uh, different? He said, he did what he was supposed to do. He always did it. Day in, day out. Night after night. Day after day. He did what he was supposed to do. He, and it didn't matter. He kept doing what he was supposed to do. And he said, Amen. Amen. I said, God, you just own that faithful heart. God is a God who, who responds to faithfulness. He actually, the Bible says in the New Testament, the more the stewards must be found faithful. Stewards of the mysteries of God must be found faithful. So we're, we're to be steadfast about the things we do. We're to be, uh, of course, we need to be the faithful that God gives us. You got, you got to continue doing what you're supposed to do, even when doing what you're supposed to do doesn't seem to be rewarding you the way you think you should be rewarded for doing what you're supposed to do. Okay. 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 Or action or activity then simply when someone's watching. Actually, faithfulness is proven when no one's watching. You're not faithful uh, when nobody's watching, then you're not faithful. If you're doing something you're supposed to do when somebody's watching, it's only when somebody's watching. You call it the simple school. You know, you homeschool parents and you, you know, and you're not like doing this thing. You know, uh, you, you tell the kids that I'm moving, I want you to do this, that, that. Wake up the room and wait to see how far the footsteps go. You wait for enough silence, and what do I do? Stop doing what they do. Now, is that why you put some, you know, you go to, we don't call that assignment to own. It's always interesting in a house. We, we live in a house, you know, it's a small town of Asian and sitting in the, we put that garage, and everybody gets excited, but they get the garage and turn it into a dark room. Get it out of the garage and you frame it out and close the garage door and make the bunny turn it all the way to your house. We just stand and watch the and look and see all the way down our street and on the foot of the truck down there. Now we forget the bed's made this time, this time, this time, until my mama got home. Now we just stand and watch the truck and say, look at this place, why did you always get that? Quit giving us a hand on your back. You know? Because we just stand there with the window open. With the city TV and the city in the cold shop. And as soon as you start the noise about the black cotton and the mock pork, the black brown in front of them, as soon as you come in the car, we bust it. Tell you the guy, I mean, the cotton, we just drive the black cotton back to the house. The bunch of mates, we're trying to go to the kitchen, clean up, go to the house, and we were good. 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 And of course, you know, you can stay home and come on down to five minutes to sports together. You can stay and watch the TV and swap the door with the mom. You'd be done. Yeah. And then I said, of course, this is said, she came one time and checked the back of the TV. It's hot. Let her see. So, the first one is that when you're just supposed to give your assignment, you know, and the other time, the other one is he's in the kitchen or, you know, or not in the kitchen. I'm going to get back to my office today. So I made barbecue this morning. I'm going to make some more about barbecue. How do you do? Do it. Do your job. And if the only thing you're steady or working in God, you know, listen, today we had to have a component. So we did computers, we had games, stuff in the net, Facebook, and Twitter. On your phone, there you go. I'm sorry, I just got to have to say that. Twitter and Instagram, social networking, how about that? Um, um, and when the box shows up, you hit the screen and you're set, you're at the same place you were when you left the room. That's not faithful. If you're going to, if, and, 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 and Christians need to be faithful in, in every area, if you need to be faithful in your work, if you need to be faithful in your work with the Lord, and you know, it's like a burner. There's no 
Can you tell the kids for just one through four, please? Go to the kingdom. Uh, the kingdom, uh, the kingdom uh, 120 princes, which we are the whole kingdom. And so, uh, and we go, and we go, we go, and 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 we go, then the president and the president of the United States and the president of the United Kingdom, the book of the United States and the United States, was because he was chosen. In other words, the United States of the United States and the United States. His first president caused him to, to live and to do according to that which was right. And it is the first president, and then the next day, the president of the United States and the United States, I want to get into the king or something, and and um, and then he was to God. He said, "He made me that. He 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 made so they thought that was a pure fuel. And so, you know, they, they had that, you know, they had that, you know, they had to um, return to the dinner party and stuff. But I remember that they were going to run into them. And I got some kind of stuff to do that story. And so, you know, I think the baby kid is going to make that the story. What do we do with that baby kid? They took that out because they thought the people were saying that it was too bad to be cool. They did away the bone song. And now I'm not kidding. There's a whole thing that the public health officers do not know about eating the bone. It's the way. They're eating the chocolate bone. They're eating the chocolate bone. They're eating the chocolate bone. You see, you're a face that thing, that one man sit down and the back of the other side back hurt, and that one said, what the fuck is the other side back? But you know, it's like bringing it with Satan's head, it's the first thing that they, you know, that'd be cool to have, first thing they did was, they went and got to see what that one was going to do, and they did. They went straight to the town, or took one and worshiped the Lord. But that's what he did. See, when you're a face of person, it's a personal life. You live this way, you have people watching you know. the night. Hello? And there's one thing, you know, you come to church and you know, you just don't mean by the head of your body, and you get outside and it's it's bound to be a bunch of it's a bunch of a bunch of That's the principle. So we, we have to be, you know, you know so faithfulness is both out of a sensitive lifestyle. Amen? You know, you're going to faithfully do what God tells us to do. The faith within that you know, I'm good with it. You know, they're just going to go into church with us. That's how I'm thinking. That's what I'm going to think with them. I'm going to go to the next one. And I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I've been in the church the last 12 weeks in a row. They've got to be 13. They were saying, I've been, you know, it shouldn't be a matter of how many times you've been in church in the world. If you're faithful, you go. And it's just like if you're going out of town on a vacation and doing something that requires you to be gone, that's okay. But if you're there, you go. Because it's your principle. It's easy to be faithful to do that. It's not something you do because, you know, you're playing grounding points with the pastor, the foundation, and, you know, trying to please God and that God has what you have to go out and make sure. God can go and you and, and if you're on the plane flying to Cancun. I agree. But you've got to get the pastor. So you can just give me a, a tube and work with it and let me go cut that coast and stuff with those eggs and the blah, blah, blah. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. It's not the last thing that's not going to be made of two bare feet. And fast your feet at it. You do not know how fast I can swim. 
never let it happen. It's going to be right over there. We need to play out with it. It's going to be high over there. I'm going to spend the time with the state. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a backfire. I've got a little bit of a backfire. But Jesus said in John 24, 45, He did His faith in the line of church. Then the day has made you a little house that could give a meat and a juice to you. God looked at the faith of people. Now, let me tell you, as a pastor, I look at the faith of people more than I do ability, skill, talent. You might be the most qualified person in the world to run the auto room, but if you're not safe, I can't use you. You know what I'm saying? Um, if, 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 if you won't come to church, um, if you won't do that with that one, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I just look at the auto room. Go up in there and I'm going to sit there bored like that. Um, and that's not what they're going to make them pay for the call for the big deal. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. You're the usher. You can't ever tell me to be here. You may, you may have the, you may, you may have wrote the book for Buddy Bell on the ministry of that. Okay? I don't know who Buddy Bell has, has that. Um, but he, he's a great man to help drive jobs for Buddy Bell's ministry. And uh, you may be the, the best person in the world that's ever been for that ministry of that. But if you're not a great person, church can't use you. Hello? You might be the most skilled thing. I don't know, whatever it is. Might be the most skilled one in the world. Even the people who talk to that were that organizational skills, um, uh, ability to to solve problems like this on the fly. Amazing. Just couldn't get any any faces to them. Just couldn't get any faces. Well, just they they weren't useful because they wouldn't be faces. That's, that's, a, that's a bad guy. See, I look at faces and say, why not let us make less growth, less qualified, less with us, the faces? Because you can't. You know, they have to be counted. You have to be like counted. And, and the world wants to be faces. Amen? Um, listen to what Paul Paul of the Timothy in 2 Timothy 2. All things you've heard of me and me and my many witnesses, the same commit. And this is the he did not say commit to good people. He did not say commit to uh, charismatic people. He said commit to faithful men. Commit to faithful men. He shall be able to teach other ones. This great religion, I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> one of the things that you don't need is you do something for my just because they the, the, the boisterous about charismatic you know, it's not have all the words. So that faith is going to be good. No, I don't want to do that. I came out of Raymond in 1981. I spent five years, I think I spent two and a half years serving the ministry for free. I didn't I didn't work that for two and a half years. Yeah. And then about a year and a half later, I'll end up in about two and a half years on the staff at home. So I was faithful. Open the door. Open the door. Lock the door. Open the door. I mean, rain the rain and walk the past the rain to the umbrella. Just like him the umbrella. You know, okay. I'll just go along with myself on this story. You know, if you've heard it before, that's okay. Um, when I first came out, the church we went into, the pastor, um, after not long, said, you know, as soon as I get enough, as soon as you're ready, you don't have enough money, I'm tired of you. You're doing all the work that this pastor did. You are my assistant pastor. I just don't have the right to hire you. You need that title, so we're going to get there. I'm going to hire you. Okay? Thank you. See? Two years ago, two and a half years. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure. No. Three years. Three years. I did all those things. I did everything. I'm going to 
for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country. He caught his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And he and he got to get back to that And he gave one five talents to another two and to another and to another one. To any man according to his talent and ability. And then he says something. Some people are not called to pass the back of them in the churches. Is it not called? God, I mean, people who are and are doing it, because of the calling, there's grace for that. God equips them for that. Anybody have five, if you don't have five thousand men, you're not walking with God. I'll walk. If you don't pray it, you must be honest. Why? Because you've got a city wide revival to go out and teach one unit out in the desert and get himself. And because of his faithfulness to obey God, and we the big revival to go get one guy saved, he, he got to do uh, the new year before Scotty got here. He got things located. That's about what the last of his time, the city was 30 miles from that spot. And when he came by the way for the phone, he was he 30 miles away. See? So going to in the big city was like that. The big church, and going to get in one guy, the little church, got him a lot of life. Amen. Okay. So how many four five bands will be saved the same? May five of us is likewise the two two main two. Because if God has saved the one, we can do the eight and give the Lord the money. And after a long time, the Lord goes, so come on back to the throne and just say, you only have five talents. Come on, Bible, that's five saying, Lord, I believe in you five talents. Behold, I think the Father's going to find more. And the Lord said, well done. Thou good and faithful servant, thou good and faithful over a few What's the key word? Faithful. Faithful over a few things, I'll make thee ruler of many enemies of the Lord. He received two talents. So, the Lord, I will do it in two talents. I think two of them signed that. His Lord said unto him, Well done, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou good and faithful over a few things, I'll make thee ruler of many things. In thou shalt come to the joy of the Lord. Let me answer that. One got five talents. One got two. They each got it. One got two. One got two. They got the same reward. And so God is looking at the faithfulness rather than the actual amount. He said, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. You wanted to be faithful over more than the other, so he didn't get a different reward in the back. So therefore, let me tell you this. Pass up your washing. You may have a church of 100, 50, 200, 300. And you got people who got churches of 5,000, 10,000. God would, would judge you not according to how large it is to give it. If you're trying to get 20,000 in the church, you're going to get the same reward as a faithful. So you've got to have 200 in the church who are faithful to what God gave you. You're going to get You're going to get different rewards. Because God wanted the faithfulness, not the number. And then you would go out and people try to. Intimidation to get you to buy the five hundred dollar, make your church bigger than mine too. You know, you can come out and teach your eyes and I don't think I got these revelations on how to make your church grow. But you gotta pay me a dollar a person to go to your church every month. And that's how I'll teach you how to be successful. And if you get my people, you pay me my money. How's that all right? Trust God and give that revelation to people who didn't go to church. It's about you getting rich or about the kingdom. And that's the secret. It's like marketing on these television shows. Get some British guy on there, or somebody who's talking about a British accent, to tell you that I got all these, I have to show you how to do real estate. But you're not doing real estate, you're selling people. How to do real estate. You're getting rich off your $5,000 house picture, and you want 400 people to show up at your meeting at $400,000 and buy those tape series on how to go out and get rich in real estate. Then why don't you just stop selling the tape and just sell real estate? Anyway, Christians shouldn't be going around prostituting the gospel and preaching revelation. Don't get two grunts. 
Joseph did not see to the ruination of the infection. There's so many things that we go through the Bible. Um, the, the, the key talent guy and the key talent guy did not know they would be rewarded the way they were just by being faithful. They could have taken the same life as the guy that got the one. Or a hard man, and a handsome boy, and a hard man. But they were looking at the same life. And they were looking at the same life. The guy who did that was faithful, got the reward. Can you imagine when you get to heaven and you go to the Lord and the Lord says, I don't want to do that. Yes, if you've done this, and then he shows you what will happen and you look at all your books. I don't want to do that. I don't just pay for the thing God calls me to do. Why God calls me to do it. You know, she's saying, I'm not going to tell why you can't do it. People say stuff, that was stuff. Just the dream of the dream that I knew that the other day. No. So why why is all you always waiting for Jesus? But God didn't tell you to come. It's easy for me to say you would leave. But God didn't tell you to come. He told me to come. And I'm in obedience to being faithful to what he said do, regardless of what it looks like or how I feel about it. And there are times that you make people that the journey will be stuck, I say the journey will be stuck, and they just can't give it to you, they delete it. Hallelujah. You know? They didn't even think about how much they love you. One time in California, we just went out to my church at the gas station, and the guy used to go to church church and said, Oh, hey! Hey, you feeling something? I just want to tell you one thing about this. Yeah, that'd be wrong. No, I only didn't get mad because I told his girlfriend to stop sleeping with him. That would upset people. And you stop sleeping with your sleeping with your girlfriend, you wouldn't be that good at it. I don't want to be sick like that. God told me to come. God didn't tell me I could leave. I passed him a couple of times. You ever, you ever have a dream in silence? You know, as, as a kid, you know, you have to come with a question that you know the answer to before you ask them. And all you do is go with it. Do I need to answer that question? Yeah, I'm not saying that I'm going to be asked in that time. But you should ask me. If he just asked you, he should be able to see if he asked you. He could be able to get back. I mean, he would just wait and wait. Daniel finally pulled down and said, Hey, Daniel. Daniel finally pulled down and said, Hey, Daniel. Doing the same 